We begin today's service in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together we sing PH 116, first and second stanzas. PH 16, yeah, 16 rather, PH 16, first and second stanzas. I am 
heart of thanksgiving. Let's go before him with a heart of praise. Let's bless our maker for his protection. Let's thank him for his provision. Then I already see an opay on the bamboo, the dog, and the power of the Amayane, and the power of the Amayane. Message set up a cop, a wedding, no pie boom, no sack on the soap. That a radiasi and a pay soap. One pie another a radiasi. They didn't get seer. I had drunk been a winning me at Siasi. But I said, I'm not. If he said, I don't know, I'd rather do any at your own pay. But I said, I'm not. It's all around you. But I said, I'm not. If he said, I don't know, and I'll share also. Eu 
Awadi ni mo. Ewa akuma ebu bumo. Akuma abrenas nuase. The scripture says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, will humble themselves. There are many ways through which we can humble ourselves before our Maker. Through a fast, you humble yourself. Through prayer, you humble yourself. Through your substance, you humble yourself. But now, we are going before Him and seeking for mercy. Mercy. That, oh Lord, whatever we've done, legal or illegal, watch us by the blood. Cleanse us by the blood. Come on, you know. be a chair, The castle, the drink, you know. And I'm out to Let me and the country, you Lebro 
as we are, we have come. We have come before the great one. We have come before the I am. With a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Beloved, thank God. Thank God. Thank God for answer prayer. This morning, the dear pay in your mouth, pay that was an opinion. So, you were a come food in Concrono. I say, I will rather than you. It's two in it. Oh, yes, soon and an opay. Oh, yes, Christo demo. And that was an opay. So, obey you in it. Oh, yes, Christo demo. And that was an opay. So, best sign it. Oh, two men one more than so. Oh, yes, Christo demo. And that was an opay. Say, how. Yet that dream, that it, we have you, my own. It was yes to Christ to demo. Yet that was it. Say, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. What you say, I'm not saying. You're not paying. You're not true. 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 My uncle fro. 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 It was yes to demo. Say, yare. Say, yare. Jesus, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Together we pray. Our Father, the Lord be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those and lead us not in temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen
AMS, it will lead us in administration.
Hallelujah. Amen. Um, it's been an encounter of campaigning for Jesus. Campaigning yeah, campaign yeah, because there be Brahmae. We just want to glorify the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen.
Betty, I can't cancel. We take a Bible reading from the book of John, chapter 6, from verse 56 to 69. Let's hear the word of God. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. Sorry. As the, as the living father sent me and I live because of the father, so he who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers ate the manna, and are dead he who eats this bread will live forever these things he said in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum verse 16 therefore many of his disciples when they heard this said this is a hard saying who can understand it when Jesus knew in himself that his disciples complained about this he said to them does this offend you what then if you should see the son of man ascend where he was before it is the spirit who gives life the flesh profits nothing the words that i speak to you they are spirit and life but there are some of you who do not believe for jesus knew from the beginning who they were who did not believe and who would betray him 65 and he said Therefore, I have said to you that no one can come to me unless it has been granted to him by my father. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked with him no more. Then Jesus said to the twelve, Do you also want to go away? But Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Also, we have come to believe and know that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Also, we have come to believe and know that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. This is the end of our Bible reading. Amen. Hymn of Meditation PH 520 Hymn of Meditation PH
Asum juin kamu nina Hejole aha ufen Ano pe mi di inchi ya kesye Efi Kavri Congregation Ashayaman Eni Ebeneza Congregation Community 12 Papa, Titi, any hand or pay, but Papa Adipa, thank you for giving me this opportunity to use your puppet for the first time. Hallelujah. Amen. I know before the end of the sermon, we will all be nourished. Praise the Lord. Today happens to be the 13th Sunday after Pentecost and the 11th Sunday after Trinity. And the passages that were read this morning, or the passage that was read, was taken from John chapter 6, the verse 56 through to 69. But the passages for today uh, are Joshua chapter 24, 1 and 2, and then the, we're supposed to continue from 14 through to 18, and then Ephesians chapter 6, the Verses 10 through to 20, I will try to be within time so that I can weave these three passages so that nourishment will be heavier. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Amen. The theme for our reflection this morning is Will you also go away? Muhuo Majelo Monso Mubekobi Ana Aninyahu Nyayate this is the reflection that keeps ringing in the Christian's ear every day. But this morning, the Lord is going to speak to us. Hallelujah. One of the most heartbreaking events that can happen in a church is to have people leave. People leave a church for many reasons. Many leave because of personality conflict. Sometimes we may fall sick and we will not have church members coming to visit us, and so it becomes a problem. Many leave because they think the church is not meeting their needs. Others leave because they are not truly saved. Some leave because they think the church is too strict. A few leave because the church doctrine declines. Occasionally some leaves with blessings to serve the Lord in another like-minded ministry. No matter why a person leaves a church, the choice is ours. Hallelujah. Although that departure or the departure of such persons leaves some vacancies. When we consider the past three or four Sundays, we can realize that John chapter 6 keeps telling us something. And if you sit down carefully and you analyze what is happening during Jesus' days, and then when we apply it to our daily lives today, God is speaking to us. Huge crowds came to hear Jesus teach and to see his miracles. Like I was saying, John chapter 6, Jesus preached a hard message that most of the multitude rejected the message that he was giving them. He was telling them the truth and he was asking the disciples that this is what is coming from him to them. Jesus knew it will happen, yet from a human perspective, it must have been difficult to watch the people turn away in disbelief because the multitude thought that Jesus' words were so hard to understand. Jesus 
Mekume, keho, heni yo ne, gumo kron kron beje me. Mekume, wu yo a mekbe yi, ya meko a keshi. Masi, ni ma ya heko klo, ba ni afe, ni mu mo ni na ye biye, ma nye nke awa, ye asafo klo klo mi, hallelujah. Ene me fe, se, be me shi on mo ne, shi Yesu Christu ale, e ye da ne ke han, wawa lebine e bi wu a keshi, ani wawu wa a te lo, wawa shi le lo, Kaji eke wong vye, vye mwen ni minchi. Ni pa mwade san, e shobe kume, kaji wong han wong kron kron ke wachu ni ye wong nou shishin. Shi fè se, le bine, in liya ke shi danu wong ba shimbi ye waya, wong ba tro, halleluya. Wong ni kane mwen ni akane aha wong, ke wong kwe, yesu, be ami ni eke kase lo e nye, e chon ame ni bi baba o, e cha he lai. Poke wakwe, meni nye se baba owe shahe kwe nake shi homo mi ye ame. Ni eha ame talashi. Ni eha ame ni ye ni. No se le ame fo e se nye mo. E jake ame liyake kame nye se ame ba anano kwa ame ye. Shye shahe kwe ka ame ake shi nye ba. Nye nye se, ke ha nye musun ye wo. Shye bin ke nye ake shi da nye ye in he lo. Ni nye nu in la le. Dan nye ba anana anwa wala. Hallelujah. Ame nu shi shi na kain. Shi lebi na yesu nke wa ke shi ye mwom liye. E sa ke wo nye wo yoy he lo we. Ni wo nwe na le. Jano. Dan ni wo tuwe yin agble ni wo hingbe hun ayana ni. Ano pe ni ame kane se. E to mri biya. Asafono do do wana. E ja asafono ko. E nye ma be bre. E de masa. E adie yi e si si. Ano pe yi unyankupon e ne ye en kasa. O bisa mene wo se, yen so, ye be jano ho akobi ana. Bisa wo wano pe yi. Mi ano pe yi, me pe se, ye susu wo, e wo, Joshua chapter 24, the verse 1 and 2, and in 14, through to 18, and it se, Joshua summons all the tribes of Israel, the elders, the judges, the officers, and it was just one simple message. The people had to decide whether they would obey the Lord who had proven his trustworthiness or obey the local gods. Because a lot of them were not worshipping God. They have their own gods, handmade gods. But Joshua was telling them that this is the time you have to worship the living God. But there comes a time to choose who or what to control you. In this current dispensation in this current world the choice is yours you have the liberty to choose who to worship but christians as we are this morning we know we are serving a living god hallelujah will it be god your own limited personality or another imperfect substitute once you have chosen god to be Controlled by God's Spirit, reaffirm your choice every day. In taking a definite stand for the Lord, Joshua again displayed his spiritual leadership, regardless of what others decided, because Joshua has made a commitment to the Lord. He was determined to set an example of living by the decision he has taken. The way we live show others our commitment how we serve God, people will look at us. This morning, I am encouraging all of us that we need to serve the living God with all our hearts. Sometimes the way we speak, the way we talk, brings people towards Christ. The way we dress, the way we relate with each other, the Bible is telling us this morning that let us come closer to the mighty one because he is the living God we have to serve. Hallelujah. When we heard the scripture that was read to us, many of the disciples were memory. John used the term disciples in a broad sense here to include all the admirers the fans who were following Jesus. They did not like the message he just preached about his flesh and blood. 
They were not truly looking for a savior who will forgive their sins and give them eternal life. They wanted a leader who will meet their physical and material desires. This morning, we will look at both, both the physical and the spiritual needs. God's grace, he provides us daily. But we can't depend on these physical needs alone. He is the living bread. But we need that spiritual nourishment. And that is why we need to be grounded in our faith. We need to believe the Lord. We need to read our Bible. We need to meditate. We need to share the word. And what happens to our morning and evening devotions? We all know Tema is a cosmopolitan area. We have to rush out from homes every morning to catch up probably the buses that are taking us to our respective working places or to beat the traffic. But this morning I am encouraging all of us to make it a key point that we shouldn't joke with our morning devotions. Hallelujah. And when God's willing, we come back in the evening before we retire to bed, we have to gather again and do the evening devotion. They knew that Jesus' word was so hard. They began to murmur. They began to talk. They did not have the courage to face Jesus with their complaints. They grumbled privately among themselves. For this we see again Christ's divine ability to know the thoughts of men. Not only does God see our actions, he sees our thoughts and motives. Beloved, sometimes if we are asked to do few words in the church or you have been delegated to do something, we do complain. God knows all about this. This morning I'm encouraging you. We will not leave our living God. Hallelujah. We will serve him with all our hearts. So we will not leave as he's asking us this morning. Sometimes these motives brings a lot of divisions in the church. Grumbling or complaining or murmuring is actually a sin. It is a sin. It often includes gossip and backbiting. When we read Philippians chapter 2, the verse 14, it says, do all things without memories and disputing. Hallelujah. We have to do it with all that passion that the good Lord has given us. And when we are doing it, we have to do it from the bottom of our hearts. An opinion maker said, I thought the beer, na ye yin yin ye mu, na nse kuo nkitin kitin, na asamwa, se biyo abba ase se wusobunu, Hallelujah. Why are complaining and arguing so harmful? If all that people know about church is that its members constantly argue, complain, and gossip, they get a false impression of Christ and the good news. Believe in Christ. That alone unites us. Believe in him. If your church is always arguing, it lacked the unifying power of Jesus Christ. Stop arguing with other Christians or complaining about people and conditions within the church. Instead, let the world see Christ in you. Hallelujah. Our lives should be characterized by moral purity, patience, peacefulness, so that we will shine brightly in a dark and depraved world. A transformed life in an effective witness to the power of God's word. Are you shining brightly this morning, beloved? Or you are clouded by complaining and arguments? The Lord is speaking to us. Because his words were harsh and hard to the followers, 
they decided to leave. Will you also go away? Shine out for God. Your role is to shine until Jesus the Christ returns and battles the world in his radiant glory. When we look at Proverbs chapter 25, the verse 23, as surely as a north wind brings rain, so a gossiping tongue causes anger. Let us be mindful of the things that we say once again. The tongue is a powerful weapon. Jesus brought their murmuring out into the open. He asked if his sermon offended them. Sometimes, some sermons hit us right in the pulpit. I'm not excluding myself. And this is the time that we need to correct whatever has gone wrong in our life. And that is exactly what Jesus was teaching them with the goal of restoring harmony. Jesus added another thought for them to ponder. He asked another question. The idea of this question is, if my sermon offended you, will you even be more offended when you see me leave earth and return to my father? He was asking them, we need to prepare our minds for this battle of this world. Many things that God asks of us go against our feelings. When that happens, we should simply trust and obey. Hallelujah. We have to trust and obey the Lord, and that is all. We have to trust and obey. Once again, Jesus explained to them that his teaching was spiritual. The Spirit quickens us. It gives us life. This explains Jesus' words about eating his flesh and drinking his blood. It is receiving Jesus' words, not eating his physical body that gives life. Jesus' words are the words of the Holy Spirit because they give life. And how can we be connected to God? Jesus, our Lord. We need to read our Bible every day. Share the word with each other. Live in harmony with each other. And again, Jesus was talking about the departure. Jesus knew who believed and who did not. He knew our hearts. And that is why sometimes Christians as we are, we need not to compromise with the word. He knows your heart better than you are. Christo ele ochi febodienche. Lebina eke won wye. Nibi baba o jidoni chiyon wakbe. Christo foyi. Nya watashi nyo jubay. Nyo wajaya won nyo mo. Ya tri dromi. Hallelujah. Ponder that truth for a while. When we believe in Christ and we have faith in Him, we will enjoy the eternity that Christ preached about. Then again, Jesus emphasized on His deity, His divinity. Being God, He knows all things. He knew this from the beginning that the crowd that were following him were going to go. He knew. And sometimes that question comes back to us again. Are we also going to go away? Beloved, many departed from Jesus. Not a few of them, but many. This was a turning point in Jesus' ministry. The admirers, the enthusiasts left disappointed, but the faithful remained. Hallelujah. His disciples remain, and so we are also going to remain. Grace congregation, we will remain. Hallelujah. Amen. We will follow Christ. We will not go away. What about near Christo said? No matter how the words, how they are, we will still follow Christ. Because he is the living God. Because we serve a faithful God. So we will remain in him. Are you remaining or you are going away? Those who departed never came back. They turned their backs on the one who could save them and give them eternal life. And that is what happens today. Sometimes, because of even positions, 
You want to become a senior presbyter. You want to become an executive of a group. And because you were not nominated, vetted, and then maybe voted for, you decide to go. Sometimes we fall sick. We don't inform the church. How would the church know? Thank God now we have area coordinators and presbyters who are shepherds for their respective um, um, neighborhoods. If you don't voice out, how would the church know that you are sick? And because of that, you have taken an entrenched position. Onyami Emma Emparian, hallelujah. Will you also depart? Will you also go away? Will you leave? Will you proceed? He asks you that same question this morning. Beloved, Lord, to whom are we going to go? This is a very important question. Only a believer can answer such a question. We are not going to go away. It is a question of conviction. You have the words of eternal life, beloved. That is the simple answer. It is also the very truth that the Lord tells us to stay with him. We are not going to leave. We will be with Christ. We will be with Christ. This is our time of grace to grow in understanding divine mysteries. Continue in the things you have learned from infancy. The things you have known, the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. Second Timothy chapter 3, the verse 14 and 15. We have been made wise for salvation only through Christ. Our flesh cannot help us. We need to have faith in the Lord. The Holy Spirit gives life. We know, and that is why we have to worship our Lord. And that is why Ephesians chapter 6, the verses 10 through to 20, it tells us that in the Christian life, we battle against rulers and authorities, the powerful evil forces of fallen angels. We fight with them. We must depend on God's strength and use every piece of his hammer. Paul is not only giving the counsel to the church, but to all individuals within the church. The whole body needs to be armed, fight in the strength of the church, whose powers come from the Holy Spirit. Sometimes this is not easy at all. It is not easy to be the true Christian Christ wants us to be. And we need to cut them off in our lives. We need to fight them. And we cannot do this without the strength of the Holy Spirit. And that is what Ephesians is telling us this morning. Paul was admonishing the Ephesian community. And the same applies to us this morning. Although we are assured of victory, we must engage in the struggle until Christ returns. Because Satan is constantly battling against all who are on the side of the Lord. We need this supernatural power to defeat Satan. And God has provided this by giving us the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. It is so sad sometimes we need to cut off good friends for a purpose. It is difficult. It is a bitter pill. But we must take it. We must swallow it to survive. And that doesn't suggest to us that when we move away from these bad companies, we leave them in the dark. And that is why it is the responsibility of you and I to go out there to announce to the unsaved word. Hallelujah. We have a lot of work to do. Christo Mwadeshe, Ewejuma Bebreye, if we want to be the true Christians God wants us to be, let us rise. And Jesus asked again and asked again. He knew the answers. He was testing them. And that was the declaration. That was the main theme for this morning. Will you also go away when he turned to the twelve? Then Peter speaks up first. 
Peter was bold and confident. Often he is the first to answer questions. To receive his word is to receive him. Peter has placed his faith in Jesus and his word. Peter had two great possessions. The two possessions were faith and inward conviction that Jesus is who he claims to be. They know, they have that faith that Jesus Christ is the Lord. And then secondly, the experience. And that we are sure of, you and I. A challenged life, a full heart, and new desire and direction in life are all too potent to be ignored. You and I know what we are supposed to do. Minkabole wole no ni esake wo fio ni wonye won nye Christo say hallelujah. Ya wo fio na kan won ha Christo. Ya wo he moke yeli afia shi mo ma ye ngidie entintim. Sen ye be ya ye beti mi esum ye rad ni ye. Let us have faith in this Christ we serve. Peter knew how his life was changed. And it was enough to make him state with confidence that the world will walk away from Christ. This quick personality often got him into trouble, but it also made him a bold, fearless preacher out of him. You can be the Peter of our time. Hallelujah. Be bold to stand for Christ. This morning, the world is telling us that we have to be bold. We have to be fearless. We have Christ. He has given us the power. God can use all kinds of personalities, different characters of temperaments, the melancholic, the phlegmatic. Whatever you are, Christ can use you. Christ can use you. Be bold and confident. Have the faith in Christ. Have the faith in Christ. When you are in need of problems, when you are suffering, just look up to the Lord. Pray to him, and he is going to help you. Those who are timid need God's help to pray for courage, boldness, and wisdom to speak. No matter what personality you have, you must depend on the Lord in order for him to use you as he wants. When we look at Ephesians chapter 6, the 18, the 19, and the 20, you can make prayer your life, and your life a prayer while living in this world. That is all what you need, God's power, his influence. Pray for all believers, all those who are discouraged, all those who seem defeated, because the power lies in his word. Paul tells us that we have to pray and encourage others. Paul asked that we pray for them, although he was in chains. But he says, pray for me. Pray for me. That he can continue to speak fearlessly for Christ in spite of what was happening to him. Christ has recognized us this morning, beloved, and Paul confidently believed that Jesus was the Christ, the son of the living God. What do you think about those who do walk away from the truth this morning? What of those who choose the way of faith? What of those who love Christ? They have taken their decisions. What are the decisions we are taking together this morning? Will you also go away? Will you also go away? Christ is Christ. And when we follow Christ, we are aiming for the ultimate. Lebine noni pepe kedin wa yubi oji. Nye haa wake wa he afwa Christo no. Moma yenfa ye hun tu Christo so. Ni yendi ni boshe no so. Onu ni Ujamia SSA yes Subono. Media Radia Semno Ebe no. This morning we found several principles for life. We must not mama or grumble. If you have an issue with someone, talk to him about it. 
Jesus' word gives eternal life. We have no right to be bitter against anyone. No matter what personality you have, you must depend on God for help to live for Christ. Hallelujah. Salvation is 100% in Christ. God offers eternal life to you, beloved, but you must choose. Make a choice this morning. Will you also go away? Have you truly received the Christ that we worship? People follow Christ for various reasons. Some to partake of the loaves and fishes. Others to listen to his works. Not all of these were devoted to the cause of Christ. Some of them left because his teachings were making them believe that they were so hard to understand. We come back at the end of the question. Jesus asked his disciples in the beginning, will you also go away? Not everyone walks away from him. And that's why, beloved, this morning we have assembled under his feet. We are before Christ. May the good Lord himself bless us all. We are not going to walk away from Christ. We are not going to allow ourselves to be disconnected from Christ. He is the true vine. And we are the branches. May the Lord help us to engrave these words in our hearts so that we will keep living for Christ. Amen. 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 Osus Ruja no peyin su yada wase. Wasem no etre en se. Etwa se a Christo fuo. Eti mini wotina. Na no pei. We shira ya do sun ewa wumba sun ti. Ena ye shimu ewa wunasi. Wasem no etre en se. Dade ni nano. Yen suya. Yani afufro endi enkita hon. Yani afufro enti na iye. Yani wechi. Na se ye di uhu namni enu mu umo jano a. Jidi a ye benya wo umuno enu bema yenda unkwa. Ano pei ejapa yadawase. Beshra yen. Na tuo yen hon. Ma yen akumapa. Ni timi atina wenchenda. Eda wase. Se we empire buti ifu. Amen. In whom do we believe after this sermon? I'm a brass team, Mr. Montanasi. Adam, we welcome all of us to this morning service. And a special welcome and thanks go to our first time worshipers. I'm a Chorentia in Cabaret this way. Next week, Sunday. Yes, we be a joint service. Joint service. Especially at 8 a.m. Upcoming events. Our Mondays and Tuesdays don't pray. Service concern this week. Just let's say between 5 to 6 a.m. Especially we have umpire. Come to me, ma. You can join us on the various social media handles. Traditional Sunday. It's a say, Yamia Duma 29th, next week Sunday, a traditional Sunday in tea, a bear or summon or ever bounty, 
It's one service, 8 a.m., and we worship outside. Afibia is a traditional Sunday worship. But this year, due to COVID, no, we'll do everything that we have been doing. But yen chair Adriani, it was this na it's in the no. So we dress now various ethnic group dresses or regional dresses. There are various apparels, but there wouldn't be any cooking or food sharing there. Meanwhile, the better chair, the various local snacks, and the achomo me. Other local snacks, you bet you are So, you ponga, you know, any time, many years, and I say, bet me, a boy, committee, no, to put them in place, no, can contact, yes, that we dad, and yes, that Rosemary, or myself, for the necessary arrangement. Bands of marriage. I parted the bands of marriage between Ebenezer Fosu, God's Brain Bachelor of Grace Congregation, Committee 11. And Gladys Arthur, spinster. If any of you know a cause or just impediment, why these two persons should not be joined into holy matrimony, may now declare it. This is for the third time of asking. These two persons are hereby commended to your prayers that they may receive grace to enter into the state of holy matrimony, to live in it as become Christians, and finally, to obtain everlasting salvation. Moran so on Saturday, 28 August 2021, at the Resurrection, no, Restoration Assemblies of God, Bremang Bedum. Restoration Assemblies of God, Bremang Bedum, near Esikuma in the central region. Here we are, I don't betray. I also published the events of marriage between Francisca Magnus George, spinster of Grace Congregation, Committee 11, and Sadiq Aferi Mohammed, bachelor. If any of you know a cause of just impediment, why these two persons should not be joined into holy matrimony, may now declare it. This is for the second time of asking. These two persons are hereby commended to your prayers that they may receive grace to enter into the state of holy matrimony, to live in it as become Christians, and finally to have everlasting salvation. Mr. There will be a leadership seminar for all the leaders of the various groups, session members, and the committee chairpersons and their secretaries. Sadi Medebe Basso on Saturday, 11th September 2021. Time near 8 a.m. to 12 noon. 8 a.m. to 12 noon. Mr. Mr. Richard Warranty, let's try and make it on the time so that we can start and then close by 12. Thanks, offering. Yen Papa, Doctor, and Mrs. Abebio, Eda, Eradiasi, Bibri, for his mercies and deliverance. And then, Radia, Uncle, last week, Sunday, what about Soweno? We do we are in at committee living traffic. And then Mia and Kawanya Ka Akinshia. Well, Lord is faithful and very protective. And to the rest of the brain, say, Well, you and Mrs. Sarah in Shane Moon. Now, the amount is 300 Ghana cities, and the scripture is Psalm 136, verse 3 to 4. Give thanks to the mightiest of all laws. Give thanks to the mightiest of all laws. His love is eternal. He alone performs great miracles. His love is eternal. Amen. Ebium, a couple is thanking God for the fifth birthday of their beloved son. The amount is 100 Ghana cities. And then the Ahim is praising him 518. Amen. Can we see young brother God's brain and her sister? Glad if you are with us here. <laughs> then if our sister Francisca and then Sadiq are here, they can join. Francisca and Sadiq, if you are here, you can also join us. Francisca and Sadiq, if you are here. 
Okay, so if we see a young brother, God's brain in this one, I say, you have to remember. And then what I say, so from a bit of God's brain, in the sumo, I say, well, you have to remember, any young sister, Gladys. And then they are followed by young brother, Sadiq Afari. Any young sister, Francisca. Francisca is a member of the church here, and then she follows you with us. And her brother, Sadiq too, has been following you with us. In fact, he's a full member of the congregation. And he, as that has won us a new soul, Papa. God's brain. God's brain. Uh, uh, yeah, one of the persons are on the journey within the past two years, and he's been very active in church. I mean, I do for no, and ono ko fan e naba, and I yesa. God's brain, Eden, Eden, Eba. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Now, I'm also happy to inform you that we have baptized Sadiq Ferry into fellowship in this church. <laughs> Sadiq had been coming to church here with some of his friends. No, ba, sorry, wah, no, no, umba. Then he decided to fellowship with us. So just a few weeks ago. We baptize him into fellowship here. So he's also a member. Mama when in you na want na sorry no yamin come home. May the good Lord go with you in this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So Magnus any Sadiq Diano Bebaso fourth September and then um uh God's brain. God's brain. Why you? God's brain. Ebeba so next week Saturday. Let me share. Thank you. Thank you, Papa. This is offering time. Singing band will lead us.
pray over the offering. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity given us to give, to support your work. Everything in this world belongs to you, even including ourselves. We are only custodian of our resources, having given us a lot. We have brought this as offering. Lord, receive, sanctify with your blood. Let it be a blessing unto the church and unto all of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's sit. We bring you greetings from the General Assembly. By the grace of God, we have ended very well. And the theme that we have Jesus Christ, the light of the world. The theme for the ecclesiastical year is Jesus Christ. There is a comma day. Jesus Christ, the light of the world. And only a day here, after next year. I mean, should I go and be the light of the world? I want to say thank you to you all. The week has been very busy. First to AMS who have led the church to have Jesus campaign program. Jesus campaign program, no, So let us give a mighty clap unto the Lord for blessing us. AMS for shall we rise to your feet, AMS? And thank you very much. I will mention your name wherever I am, wherever I go. Because you have been an evangelistic wing indeed. For this program, a huge program you have organized, let the church you organize, we say God bless you. God bless you so much. God bless you. And God bless you all who supported in diverse ways. They are still taking the support because they need to pay bills and all that. Program near Kama. Do you personal support still? You can still see them. And then that is it. And I want to say thank you also. Two groups, a two crying, ten ten ten, back on echo, a chimer predi, echo ye, I a fro or homae, and a group back on Zuko, Alavano, a honso, a damas, Namisha, Momia Suso, Yahum Yahumusa, na enko ye, Amen. Papa no de asorno, Ebrayen, and I am Yasam Ebrayen, a catechist, Abraham, we catechist, Abraham, que is the catechist in charge of. Community 12 congregation. Um, last week, my announcement was concerning one of our members, uh, whatever the case is, however you want to put it, uh, Victoria Ferry, my announcement was for the avoidance of doubt. And I want to repeat it again for the avoidance of doubt. Announcement now may I say you hear see a bit mobilize abuano. So the church is mobilizing to support because she needs seventy six 
close to 77,000 Ghana cities to support her surgery. And unti may appeal, say, Obia, Opese, Obuano. Give me a call. Whatever means you want to support, give me a call. Let us see what we can do about it. I want to say it again for the avoidance of doubt. I did not say or mean that do mobile money onto my mobile money account. Make a simple simple actually. It is a ofremia na machero kwanya obe faso na ode contribution aba. As we as we speak, it is only two people who spoke to me. The first one, the poor sorry na and on the say he or she want to give an amount of three thousand. Me eh monsem debi monsem. Yamin shiran. Na osi yamuna munu muho no ano. Na esese ode mami into ode mami. Then after another person also called. Who also gave thanksgiving to God and then said he or she was also with 200 Ghana cities. And Okram said, Oh, Papa Katkiswa. Uh -huh. So these are the only thing that has come. I didn't say in any way that Munkoye mobile money, Enfengu, me mobile money account. So, na me Enfengu, whatever, no, only God knows. I wouldn't have addressed it, but we have agreed that I should address it. The message, somebody from here, went to tell the district minister that I have launched an appeal for Victoria Affairy and that I've asked you seven first you can in a mobile money account so na senior I don't know whatever you have in mind ain't he the district minister is a senior friend he's a senior colleague he's a senior friend so and some now but for the avoidance of doubt you must also know that I am also a human being the district minister didn't tell me whoever the person has been revealed to me but say when you are kudro, I make an chairman. Men so men be sour. I be sure we diem. Uhu mia, we am be sure. Me sremo, me pamucha o. Man ya boni o. Man kasa mo fesi kambere me na me kudi. Grace is a nice church. Let me confess to you, Grace is a nice church. And the nice church is that I have very nice people here. They will give me money. But I won't do that. But God has been using a lot of you to bless us. Now we have not been fair to the church. A lot of you from day one, you have supported us. I can confess, I can confess, I can confess, I can confess, mo misrew se mo ka nsem nsem ni bi o ha ye ka o fi a ye ye ya announcement one ti ase ye ubisa me a ya chirem ubisa katkis obe chirem ubisa senior presbyter obe chirem clerk wa ha ubisa obe chirem ba se o di free ha ko beyond aha enya se e ya reporting you are reporting the person now you are sorry ni se e ti se Say, be being co ye were sorry more. Now, per se, I call this with our first session or so. We don't have the poor, I said, what the idea and I this with yes, yeah, man and co. As I see a man and co. See, be be sano, no one may be hunk or more, and sana a co. But oh, sorry, I now call card, ye be a one tiasia. I walk on chesser or near select room or numb room on any nano. Now, only me say, you do your own or say you. It would you save yourself to ten hours, say no, and now can be be at on so, and now can. Maybe I mean, you and check her, me did ten years ko hakra meko. Do the nyabutre? I can't come at two yum. A brenner swan. Ain't he, mamma, man, so. Nah, me. 
And do we know what today? That I don't begrudge anybody. I want I don't hold anything against anybody. I am not one someone who is may even so who be more cancer now. Somebody be over me tia. I'm just saying ah, ne ni pa jine kura ti sen. Ni pa jine kura ti sen because ti mi tia somebody be a who ni ti and who ni nine. This is the same way. Where you are some way you can't baby. This is how be a non chill mu and I be a person too much so for. Say now your announcement no one share na. Ni pa jine say I'm first can be good mobile money so. Na what chill na mas oh fine eh yeah. Yeah, you know. But so we can't be busy. Ah, na na, I have to be busy. So, um, uh, Clark, you have to work with two hundred new free seniors. Oh, na men so three thousand. No, in fact, ma'am, a foreign boy. And I'm told say you need two thousand two hundred. Fuck him. We will give you still the opportunity this week. Still, if you want to give and support, give me a call. Na yenchiro kwa ya obefaso. I will be to your second name your support by close of week. No, you have been a beano. It's answer Mumu Biamba. Sorry, last week in Timmy Patch. Mammy Bo, no, na she said, Ubet me and your big crack near their support to an idea. No, a year, 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 a until the Fabo is here now, young Sam, why your home fan support? No, never could be on this week. If you want to support, please let us know. If you can call me, you don't want to call me, please call the catechist or call the senior presbyter or the clerk, and then we will organize ourselves. Now, now, young Shania, you beat me. I am now, young Fam, what young Sabas should be anchor say grace as a fool. I had the boy, you know, Bano, and Nuni, you had the one knee. Now, Miss Shira, where you be a Faber to other can when I am caught, and I may mention any uncle. Where did you enter in India? Where you are there, Fabrani Uncle? I mean, Shira, I mean, Shira, so Ben, sir. Please, if you have issue, let's talk it at home. I beg you, let's talk it at home. Mua moji envelope within the week to support the Jesus campaign. No me paucho bo ni siha. Ube timi di ababe tu. Bomo di anafa tu ansana wako na unkura wa hanswa odi aba. Yami shira mo wai. Yami shira mo mo ye mani ye fe. Mo ye mani ye fe. Yemu mkasa na ne haji. But yebe fani sa. Dia bata bo ni chaye chana. Uh, Grace is a nice church. Wow, you know, make a church. It's a nice church. Eh, yeah, yeah, kika yeho ani, awo yeho ani yeko ayesa. Eh, eh, eh. I am from measurement into him. God bless you all. Now, Miss Shira, Monsieur Simon, may come on the air. We acknowledge you so much. Can't put it there. Shall we rise and pray? Yeni ya ni ya papa ni ya mama na nonka mu ya ni accident amu de ni ya miasi no ya de ni ya miasi mama mu ya de mu ni yesu mu jamu euradi ni mu free musu ni nemo mi bo mpaya di ubi biara waha eshe yesu kristo mu jana na somre asi euradi mu ya hamba ni na watu ya mi chua kwa mu moto we no swa na mami huse ni pa uchua kwa mu moto we no suko eba ko eba no euradi wona ukura wong ya sirawo ya busi ya fu ya dofu ya safu mei. I will trap my motorway, no so cop, and no pay we and you may not pay we and you may. A rather walk out when you won't call. Well, bow when you won't bra. When you're too kind, I do mean tea, and rather walk out when you won't call. Well, bow when you won't bra. Your fist some shows, your water some shows, your juma shows, your sika some shows, your dean in our shows, can think I yes, that one yes, why I didn't want to. So, you ain't mean sign through a cheat da. To near the idea, I will know your high shreds. Oni yen nanti nama osuru inshira enye ya chefa. Afe wasa fwe wudade din ene inshira nka. Udin na ye ye nka. Now let us all go in peace. Nye ha wafen wa ya wa shi ami ya nunto dromo ke ehi wa lemi. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Yami inshira wo. Remember next week, eh ye, 
traditional service day. Ain't you know? Be in your traditional way. Um, but you check in human or be a mamma, say be a bit you, a bit you in your dear, and a baby, a baby, a missile found who shame. Nafa will be so a bra. I mean, shall be brave.